Abraham traveled from there toward the land of the south, and lived between Kadesh and Shur. He lived as a foreigner in Gerar. Abraham said about Sarah his wife, She is my sister. Abimelech king of Gerar sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream of the night and said to him, Behold, you are a dead man, because of the woman whom you have taken, for she is a man's wife. Now Abimelech had not come near her. He said, Lord, will you kill even a righteous nation? Didn't he tell me she is my sister? She, even she herself, said, He is my brother. In the integrity of my heart and the innocence of my hands have I done this. God said to him in the dream, Yes, I know that in the integrity of your heart you have done this, and I also withheld you from sinning against me. Therefore I didn't allow you to touch her. Now therefore restore the man's wife, for he is a prophet, and he will pray for you and you will live. If you don't restore her, know for sure that you will die, you and all who are yours. Abimelech rose early in the morning and called all his servants and told all these things in their ear. The men were very scared. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said to him, What have you done to us? How have I sinned against you, that you have brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? You have done deeds to me that ought not to be done. Abimelech said to Abraham, What did you see that you have done this thing? Abraham said, Because I thought, Surely the fear of God is not in this place. They will kill me for my wife's sake. Moreover, she is indeed my sister, the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. It happened, when God caused me to wander from my father's house, that I said to her, This is your kindness which you shall show to me. Everywhere that we go, say of me, He is my brother. Abimelech took sheep and oxen, men servants and women servants, and gave them to Abraham, and restored Sarah his wife to him. Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before you, dwell where it pleases you. To Sarah he said, Behold, I have given your brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, it is for you a covering of the eyes to all that are with you. In front of all you are vindicated. Abraham prayed to God. God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maidservants, and they bore children. For the Lord had closed up tight all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife.